what's up fellas um i thought i'd make a video before i ship it off to red cat headquarters tomorrow um just wanted to showcase a little bit of the details that you know might not get uh might get overlooked in some of the posts that i've made um you know i i know there's some stuff well that's there's actually a lot of stuff that i haven't posted um so you know i just kind of wanted to showcase and uh you know hopefully everybody gets some motivation i mean anybody can do it i'm no professional by any means um you know i'm still learning so you know hopefully this goes to serve as motivation to many of you guys you know um you know a lot of guys think it's perfect or whatever but it's not you know you know just just do the best that you can and take pride in your work and and that's it you know so uh with the, with that being said i'm gonna kind of go over a little bit of the details we're gonna start off on the wheels uh let's see if i could get it to kind of focus um the wheels are made by jesse macias um very good wheels very underrated wheels um the plating is very nice on them quality overall is very good so what i did with these um is i went ahead and uh added a band of engraving on them which eventually i will reveal you know i worked very hard to try to master it at least to my um standards you know i know it's not perfect but um, that's a detail that got overlooked or you know maybe some of you guys didn't catch it at first um, the molded suspension the a arms the top arms were actually molded with styrene um, let me see what else I added a little bit of engraving on the uh, on the uh, suspension components I took some shocks which um, these are the ones that candy and chrome sells, but you can also get them on eBay. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I got them on eBay and modified them. Um, I actually used the original springs on them, uh, the original Red Cat springs, uh, which were cut. So I pretty much cut them and compressed them, and I painted them. That's basically what I did, just to give it a little bit of the. Uh, of the scale, you know, cylinder look. Um, some of the details in the undercarriage also. Uh, some murals, which are water slides. It's a long process, you know, a lot of it is not easily done. Um, the pinstriping is all hand done, it's all done by me. Pretty much all the work has been done by me, unless I point it out, most of the work has been done by me. Um, my boy Jeffries. He blessed me with these uh, scale-like uh, headlight lenses. They look pretty dope. I actually have a full uh, light kit for it. Headlights, tail lights. Add an engraving throughout. You know, bumpers, grill. Uh, huge shout out to uh, RC Plate Shop. Uh, they went ahead and hooked me up with these uh, customized license plates. Added just little details, you know. And, and you know, it's the little details that add up eventually, you know. At first, it doesn't seem like much, but if you keep at it and just kind of, you know, keep adding and adding details, you know, eventually it'll add up to the point where, you know, you're, you're, you're to the point where you're like, man, how did I even do this? So here's the undercarriage. Let me see if I can uh, turn it to the back side. All the engraved trims. Have a full interior. Um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, these are working visors. And like I said, fellas, with the creativity, um, you know, anybody can do it. That mirror was done in about five ten minutes um, just do some research online see how the parts and the components look and it, it was done with some brass wire some styrene and some uh, chrome reflective uh, uh, vinyl they're fully functional 
Jeffries. I made the steering column work with that Jeffries steering wheel. Um, and, you know, a lot of people don't really know, but I used actually a broken Red Cat 64 antenna to make my steering column. Well, actually, not the steering column, the uh, steering, the uh, shifter. Full headliner. Full interior. Custom center console. Engraved door handles. Uh, trunk setup with two pumps, three dumps, ADEX dumps. A lot of the components are not really available, so you gotta get creative. I did the faucet style uh, slowdowns. Everything is pretty much mocked up as it should with the hard lines and grave dumps. And I know you can't see it, but there's actually scale batteries back there under that. Clear tail lights by Jeffries. I was very fortunate he blessed me with those. Um, actually, the bumper guards as well, front and rear, also made by Jesse Macias. For the rear end, I have I modified some uh, drifter, some drifter uh, calipers and uh, rotors, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I created. A disc brake conversion. It is actually attached to the axle. Uh, square links. Those were customized. I also made those myself. Engraved trunk pan. Painted gas tank with the uh, chrome and gold engraved straps. Murals. Diff cover is gold. Let me see. Uh, if I could turn it around for you guys. Sorry, I'm doing it one-handed. So I turned it over for you guys. So you guys can get a good look at the undercarriage. Like I said, fellas, anybody can do it. It's all in the details. Just keep adding to it. Um, you know, I've said it before, I'm, I'm very open-minded, I'm down to help whenever I can. You know, a lot of times I get DMs and I can't answer them just because I'm, you know, pretty busy and stuff. So, um, yeah, just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, once in a while I go through all my old messages and I do respond. So, yeah, man, um, hopefully you guys get to enjoy and uh, very excited. Thank you to Red Cat and shout out to everybody who had a part in this as far as uh, getting parts from them.